Right now you will be learning 10 expert tips to organize your home for a, for a clutter-free life. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mind Body Home, and today we're diving into the world of home organization. Now before we jump into the top 10 tips, let me just say, I'm all for those aesthetically pleasing, high-end magazine type of setups. But let's be serious, organizing your home is about more than just buying the newest gadgets. It's about creating systems that work for your everyday life. Tip number one, drop it like it's hot. Create deliberate places to drop your everyday items. Where do your keys go? Where does your coat hang? Where do your shoes go when they're off? Identifying these natural drop zones is crucial. But here's the kicker. Make it intentional. If your keys always end up on the table, put a container there. If coats find their way to a specific corner, install a hook or a shelf. It's about making the system adhere to the habits you already have. This leads to tip number two. Define high traffic versus low traffic areas in your home. Understand the places in your home where things are constantly in motion, like the entryway or living room. These are your high traffic areas. Then, there are low traffic zones, like a guest bedroom, parts of the basement, or an attic. These are great areas to store items you only use occasionally. Maybe tools, cleaning items, or spare batteries. Define these areas and prioritize easy access for items you use daily. This leads us into tip three, which is to focus on ease of access. You can install any type of easy to access shelf. You can use a container for your silverware instead of just throwing them all in the drawer. You can add a stand to store your shoes. Boxes and crates don't work here because they do not provide easy access. You will have to lift boxes to access other boxes and move crates to find what's in them. The same goes for shelf space, cabinet space, pantry space. Low level shelves can serve as high traffic areas and high shelves along with empty cabinets can serve as low traffic areas. Things you go for every day on the low shelves and things you only need occasionally higher. A versatile storage solution is a game changer. It enhances ease of access, a crucial aspect of organization. No more pulling out drawers and rummaging through stacked shelves. Here is a big one. Tip number four, confine your clutter. Whether it's your nightstand, kitchen counter, or coffee table, we all know that feeling of looking at a visually busy space and thinking, well, it's just a lot of stuff. The solution, confine it to one area. Use trays, books, cutting boards, or even stack some magazines. It's a small change that can make a big difference in your visual organization. Tip number five, let it hang. Use hangers. Let's talk about these game changers for your closet. I insist that if you want to maximize closet and drawer space, hang your clothes. Not only do good hangers keep your clothes from slipping off, but they also make the process of putting them away a breeze. Having a clean closet situation goes a long way because you use it just about every day. You will save time by not having to hunt through piles of jumbled clothes. Your clothes will last longer due to less wear and tear because you are taking care of them. And you'll save money because you'll know what you have so you won't go out buying duplicates and triplets. Tip number six, maximize space. This is a major key if you're living in a small apartment. It requires a lot of creativity to maximize space utilization. That odd corner or space in next to your closet or bed frame, or perhaps that space in between your mirror. Turn it into an inspirational space, like a vision board area, a small work area, lounge area, or extra storage space. If you have space between space, possibly hang hooks, book bags, gadgets come into play, things to hang brooms, vacuums, paper towel holder, toilet tissue, etc. It's about being creative and maximizing what you have. Tip number seven, create synergistic sections. 
in junk drawers or cluttered spaces. You can group things that go well top for. This could include extra cords, chargers, cases, important documents. No need to invest in expensive clear containers. Use shoe boxes, gift boxes, or drawer expanders to keep everything organized. Even in the kitchen, group cups with cups, plates, bowls, pots, etc. Or if you're dealing with all of your unmatched storage food containers, get rid of the non-matches and see how synergistic your kitchen becomes. It's a simple and budget-friendly solution. The important idea to keep in mind here is that every item should have a spot. Knowing everything has to have a home within the house helps you begin to naturally categorise your sections. Diving deeper into the skill of creating synergy leads us to. Tip number eight. Heard regularly, set aside time each month to declutter. Do you have a set of teacups or wine glasses that technically match your dishes or other glasses, but you never use them? Do you have a six-piece luggage set, only three of which you actually use? What about your pots and pans and your knives? Do you use every item in the set? Get rid of the extras, puzzles, games, toys with missing parts items in the donation or throw away pile. Remember, it's not about overwhelming yourself but consistently maintaining an organized space. Speaking of not overwhelming yourself, tip number nine is to manage the emotional journey of decluttering. Ask yourself, if this item were covered in red wine, how hard would I work to save it? Letting go of guilt or obligation is crucial. Decluttering is not just a spring cleaning task, it's a regular, emotional endeavour. Sometimes you can have an emotional tie or attachment to an item. For these items, one technique that can help is putting these items in a giveaway bag and putting the bag in my car trunk for a couple weeks and telling myself that if I don't use the items or think of them in the next couple of weeks, I will just drop the bag to a donation and not think about it anymore. Tip number 10. When it comes to keeping tidy or organized, practice putting stuff away the moment you get them. If you're coming home from a grocery run, immediately put them into their relative spots or coming back from a trip with a bunch of clothes, immediately unpack the things to separate for laundry. For many people, if those things are not put away right after you get back, while you are still in the actively moving state of mind, you may never get yourself back to putting them away after winding down, or even sometimes just sitting down, and there you have it. Today, we delved into home organization with our top 10 tips for a clutter-free life. Remember, it's not just about aesthetics, but creating systems that fit your everyday life. To review, drop deliberate places for your items. Focus on easy access with versatile storage. Consider high versus low traffic areas. Confine clutter to one area using trays or containers. And let it hang by using hangers in your closet for seamless organization. Maximize space by creating synergetic spaces with simple solutions like shoe boxes. Heard regularly and manage the emotional journey of decluttering. Practice putting things away immediately to stay organized. Our homes hold real energy, so let's build systems that support our lifestyles. If you found these tips helpful, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and share it with someone who needs organization inspiration. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Bye.